All right, Jason, and anybody else who wants to watch this, this is, whoop, not number eight. This is problem number nine. I'm going to change that. On page 18. Uh, we're going to use theorem 57, which let's review that again real quick back on page, uh, where was it? Page 6. The measure of an inscribed angle is equal to one half the measure of the intercepted arc. And we're going to use theorem 58. The measure of an angle formed by a tangent in a sequence drawn from the point of tangency is equal to one half the measure of the intercepted arc. Remember those? Okay. And uh, we're going to use both of those. Let's see what we need to prove here. We're trying to prove that XY is parallel to BC. Now, you remember back in a previous video when we were talking about page uh, whatever that was, 10, we uh, started with parallel lines, okay? And we noticed that the alternate interior angles, if they're congruent, um, prove that they're parallel lines, or if they're parallel lines, we can say that the alternate interior angles are congruent. So we're trying to get to prove that these lines are parallel. In order to get there, if I can, I'm kind of working up from the bottom is what I'm doing here. I'm trying to prove that this angle is congruent to that angle. Okay? Well, let's see if we can get there. One of the things that we know from theorem 58, okay, is we have a tangent line. It's tangent at this point. We have the secant drawn. And so that means that this angle right here is going to be equal to half of this intercepted arc, okay? So what can we call that? Can we call that B, angle BAX, the measure of angle BAX is equal to one half the measure of the intercepted arc AB. Oops, I wrote AC and then AB. Okay, so you see that? So that's the third theorem 58 that gives us that. Now, let's notice something here. This is an intercepted arc, and here's an inscribed angle. You see that angle C is equal to the same arc. Well, I shouldn't say it's equal. So the measure of angle C is also equal to one-half the measure of arc AB, this angle right here, okay? So I'll do that with a double. All right, so that is congruent. Oh, look, I've got two things equal to each other. Interesting, okay. Uh, looks like I could do a substitution. And then they have one other little point that they put in there that is the fact that these two sides are congruent. Remember, any triangle has two sides equal the angles opposite those sides are also equal or congruent because it's an isosceles triangle. So definition of isosceles triangle. So this angle here is going to be equal to this angle. So because these are equal, so I'm actually going to just go ahead and label the same rather than having two. All three of these angles are going to be the same. All right, so by definition of isosceles, we know that V is equal to C, so we can do another substitution. And now we have proven that angle B is congruent to angle BAX. Actually, I haven't proven they're congruent. Again, this is one of those weird things where we've said the measure of the angles are equal by substitution. But once we say that the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle C, then we say that the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle BAX. Then I can say that these two are congruent. And if these two are congruent, now I have proven that the two lines are parallel. Okay? When I do problems like this, first of all, I like to start with what's given. Okay? That's the first few steps. Start at the bottom and say, all right, what am I trying to prove? I'm trying to prove they're parallel. I can prove they're parallel by proving these angles are congruent because if two, what is it, definition of, anyway, just the transversal intersecting parallel lines in the um, alternating interior angles are congruent. 
stated the other way, if the alternating interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel, right? So um, I'm working my way up, start here, go to here, and uh, then we just have to kind of keep playing with the order. And the order in some respects doesn't matter too much, although you have to prove one point sometimes before you can make the next point. Anyway, tr you try your best. Lay out, now that I've kind of unlocked and helped you see some of the hidden things in this hidden picture, <laughs> see if you can come up with the statements and reasons. And then honestly, it doesn't hurt to go to the score key, and even if you're not 100% right, don't feel bad marking it wrong, okay? While you're at the score key, compare it and see, okay, did I have that step? Did I have that step? Did I have that step? Did I have that? What am I missing? Did I make an assumption that I can't make? Do I need to go back and stick a point in there? Did I say something that was wrong? Did I just have it in the wrong order? Actually, the different order might still be okay. Okay, don't, don't uh, beat up on yourself if you have it in the wrong order. And you're probably, the first steps you'll have easily, they're the given, the last steps you'll probably have. Uh, maybe you got stuck a little bit in the middle and by looking at the score key, that is a part of your learning experience. So don't feel bad. Um, learn from it while you're scoring and then go back and think it through. The point is for your brain to see how it logically develops, okay? And the problems that they give us in the homework are a lot harder than what they're gonna make us do on the self-test and pace test. So that's good news. So do your best on this. Correct any errors that you have, and then just keep moving, okay? Don't feel frustrated if you don't totally understand it, and if you feel like, I should have been able to do this totally on my own. No, and honestly, I was looking at a score key before I helped you because I had to see exactly where they were going. I'm jumping in, not having been teaching this for a while, I had to jump into the middle of it. So I'm looking at the score key to follow their logic and then just try to help you see the progression. Okay, that's part of it. So um, do your best and I hope you do well coming up on the checkout.